today. I had quite the day and I just want to finish off the day with a little bit of chill cleaning. But first I had to make a little latte, so good. I have maple bourbon coffee with vanilla soy milk in here and it's really delicious. So, oh man. I have to be completely honest with you all and say that I have not given this house a proper clean since we moved in here. We had cleaners come to the house, but they haven't cleaned, they didn't clean in every little nook and cranny. And I wanted to really do a little bit of a cleaning, you know, run today. And I did two bathrooms and the bedroom and it felt really good to just really cleanse the space and make it ours. I even had to vacuum inside the closet and just sort of vacuum off the baseboards. You know, the baseboards get really dusty if you neglect them. They seem to get dusty really quickly as well. This master bathroom is so nice. I really have to be honest and say I don't love the color paint that is in here. I'm definitely going to change it when you know we settle in a little more i'm actually going to change the paint in the bedroom as well it's a beautiful beautiful dark color blue but it's just absorbing so much light that i just i think in the bedroom i just want white walls i just want nice bright white walls so We'll definitely be changing that over. I think it's gonna be multiple, multiple layers of paint. <laughs> we will be there, I'll take you on the journey, but it's gonna be an adventure for sure. The other thing I really wanted to do is clean the fronts of the cabinets. I don't think the cleaners did this either, and there's lots of debris on the fronts of cabinets, and especially in, on handles as well. If you haven't cleaned the fronts of your cabinets in a long time, I strongly encourage you to do so, especially if you have shaker fronts like mine with a little indent. Dust and debris and you know gel from your hair or soap or whatever can get caught in the little indents in the in the 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 bottom portions of the little indents. And it's really good every once in a while to go and just wipe those down and get that dust off. And it made me feel so good to get this space sparkling clean. I have loved living here so far. It's been such a dream. And we have these little secret compartments above our cabinets and they're just so cute. They We don't have anything in them right now, but I'm thinking about putting some skincare in there or something, but they of course were not cleaned by the cleaners. So I went and did my due diligence, vacuumed that, them out, just vacuuming them out got them so much cleaner. I was so much, I was so surprised by how much debris, like dust debris was in there. But I went through with my microfiber cloth. Okay, was my microfiber cloth was doing the work, you guys. It was doing all the work and it's so much cleaner. And I don't feel icky about putting stuff in there now. And the last thing I did was give my floor a good mop. I am getting a shower, not a shower curtain, but a bathroom rug that fits underneath the door. The door is really, really low to the ground. And I know that I can shave the bottom of the door off. That's something I considered, but for now, I'd rather just, you know, have something that fits underneath the door so I don't have to actually shave the door off. Um, but I love this mop. I, I lovingly refer to it as the Melissa Maker Mop, even though it's the Maker's Clean Mop. Um, you guys know how I feel about Melissa. I love it so, I love her so much and I love that mop. Okay, the spare room, the spare bathroom tub was disgusting. There were like dead bugs in there. I don't know what happened. We don't, we never use this shower for showering. So I wanted to wash it just, you know, in case like I needed to like have a change of venue for my shower. I don't know. Or if guests arrived and there was actually some, either some paint or paste on the hardware in there. So I got it off. It was so satisfying. Just use a little bonhomie and that takes it right off. Do you guys use bonhomie to clean? I love bonhomie. It's kind of like, Mm, barkeeper's friend, but only less abrasive and less corrosive to your lungs. It's a really nice cleaning solution. I love it to use it to clean bathrooms, the kitchen sink especially, or dishes when I'm having a lot of trouble with stuck on food. 
Fond Me is one of my favorite things to clean with because it's so gentle, but it's so strong. I love it. And it doesn't smell like anything. And it's so cheap. You can get it at Target for like a buck fifty or something, and you get a big old uh, tube of it. Again, cleaning the bathroom floors with my Melissa Maker Mop, AKA the Maker's Clean Mop. This mop, I am in love with it. I love it so much just for quick jobs and for, you know, getting tile really, really clean. It, you can scrub with one side, right? And then turn it over and sort of dry with the other side. It's kind of brilliant. And it gets in corners so well. It's, it's, I can't say enough great things about it. I think the thing I love most about it is you can leave it up against a wall and it won't fall down because it's got little grip on it. <laughs> That's a really, it seems like a really silly thing, but I love that feature about this, this, of this mop. It's so, 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 so good. If you guys are not familiar with it, I will put a link down in the description and so you can pick one up yourself. Okay. So here's the front hall closet. It was a different configuration when we moved in. Maybe I'll put a little picture of what it looked like before, but I have been changing it around and, you know, because we have extra alpha shelving and it was just basic white before. So I put in some white decor shelves just to make it look a little fancier. And I've been doing this closet in stages. And the truth is I do a lot of my organization projects in my own house in stages. So I kind of neaten things up here, change the configuration here or there, and I just leave it alone for a little while. I live with it and then I may change it again. And I'm definitely in the process of decluttering and changing out a lot of our things that we have because we have a lot of extra things, especially extra organizing things that worked in the old apartment that we don't need anymore or things that no longer fit. So we're in the process of decluttering them, rehoming them. I've been selling and giving away a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace. It's so satisfying to have someone come by and be so excited about an alpha drawer unit that you don't need anymore. They're like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm like, please take it away and use it. So um, while I'm still organizing, I am, you know, taking inventory of this stuff that we really don't need anymore. So um, it's it's a it's a definitely a process, and this house has been slower to develop than any of my spaces that I've moved in in the last ten years. I've just been really dragging my feet, and I think that's it's because the space is so much larger than what we've had in our lifetime, and it's it's just presented a huge challenge for me but I'm I'm I really am loving it and I'm I'm accepting the challenge okay so I did some cleaning and I organized a little bit our entryway closet just the first phase of it a little bit it's functional now a little more functional this is all of like Clover's stuff and um, you know just his like winter coats and his like stuff for cleaning and the poop bags and this one, I got one. And this is just uh, like play stuff and his water bottle and hot weather stuff. And then like medical stuff for Clover. And then um, his like cleaning kit is just here. So it's just like what I grab when I wanna give him a grooming. Um, and then masks, sunglasses. This is my uh, scarves and stuff. It's really messy and some of my husband's scarves and gloves and stuff. I just shoved it in there. This could do with a little bit of editing. I feel like this closet is not the most functional um, because of the way it's sort of designed. I may move the shelving around in here too, but that is something for another day. There's just um, reusable bags, uh, some weather stuff, and like my husband's, my husband buys a lot of these. I think he forgets them. And then when he gets to the store, he's like, oh, I'll just get another one. And I feel like we're just collecting these reusable bags because we have reusable shopping bags, but there is a thermal uh, shopping bag here for, for, you know, taking home frozen and stuff, cold stuff, keeping it, or keeping stuff hot. So we've got two of those down at the bottom. So I kind of cleared the bottom of that, um, which is nice. Now it looks, uh, a little better and I can put something different on top of this shelf at the bottom or maybe just you know nothing at all I don't know um, I don't want it to look too crowded up here but the the entryway is, is coming together but like slowly but surely but um, the Roomba is in the entryway as well 
and the bathrooms are clean, which is really all I wanted to get accomplished today. I, I always feel slightly disappointed when I kind of get tired and finish these things. I'm like, oh, it's not good enough, but um, it's fine. It's dark here. So I had a consultation at the breast center today at the hospital and they assessed me at like a 20% risk for breast cancer. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna give me the BRCA test. Um, I thought it was for the BRCA test today, but it's not. So they're gonna send a referral to the BRCA test and they said, you know, we can do more aggressive um, screening if that's something you wanna do or we could just keep going. I get yearly mammograms at this point. So um, that's how that visit went. It was really short. It was like, it was basically a consultation with a doctor and um, it was really, it was, a lot of good information was shared. So if I choose to be more aggressive with the screening, they'll give me a, um, the yearly mammogram. And in addition to that, I'll have an, M an MRI every like six months. So, which is like a lot of tests <laughs> every year. But I mean, if, if the, if the results of the genetic testing come back um, with information that would make me more concerned, I think that's when I'll make a decision about um, how often I'd like to be screened. But, um, so that's how that went. So it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I just wanted to reiterate that uh, again. If you are due for a mammogram and have not gone for a while or have forgotten about it or are scared to schedule it because you've heard bad things about it, just schedule it anyway. Um, I do not enjoy having my breast smashed. It is not like a super fun thing for me to do. And I know like a couple of people said they didn't have like really bad experiences. I had one experience that was less than ideal, um, but the rest have been very tolerable and it's over in like 10 minutes. Um, and if you're really, really lucky, you'll get a great tech who makes you laugh during your <laughs> mammogram. I've had a great tech who like have, have cracked me up and uh, made the pleasant, made it the experience really pleasant and wonderful for me. And so, um, you know, that's what you can have. And it's over in like 10 minutes. And then you don't have to worry and you can catch it early if there's something you should be concerned about. So um, that is my PSA again for Breast Cancer Awareness Month because I did watch my mom go through a year of chemotherapy and it was really, it was not a fun thing to watch my mother go through. Um, it was just, I mean, it was a lot and she, you know, she's okay now. She's perfectly fine. She had a radical mastectomy. She had just two, she had, um, and, and with reconstructive surgery, um, they look great, <laughs> but it's just, you know, please take care of yourselves out there. And also another PSA, if you're born with XY chromosomes, you can also get breast cancer. So don't neglect, don't neglect if you, um, were born with XY chromosomes. So just PSA for that too. It's so gray outside and dark in here, but it's really cozy. And I, I'm like, I want to just chill out, enjoy the quiet and just relax for the rest of the day because tomorrow is intense. Tomorrow we got the dresser being delivered from West Elm. I have my voice lesson. We have the design team coming by and then I have to go to rehearsal. So it's gonna be a busy but fun day. So I will see you again tomorrow for another wacky, quiet, slow living fall vlog. No fall foliage footage today. I promise I will be more consistent with that tomorrow. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and the ones around you. I'll see you later. Bye.